Part 8 of Renovating a Vintage Workshop Type Steam Engine The exhaust arrangement on this engine has always been a bit strange. It exhausts through a hole in the base. Originally I thought this was an old base with other parts added, but it's actually a solid block of wood. With this arrangement the exhaust steam from the cylinder is going nowhere in particular other than down onto the table that you have the baseboard on. So I'm going to alter this arrangement by drilling a hole all the way from one end of the wooden block to break into the original vertical exhaust hole. This hole really took some drilling. I had to press hard on the drill and this block appears to be oak. It's been stained a different colour but it really is a very hard wood. So now there's a horizontal exhaust port that meets the vertical exhaust port. More about this later. It's time now to clean up the main bearings. I've shown this before in this series. I'm using a piece of sandpaper and a metal block. Once the bearings have been cleaned up, it's time to try them in position. The bearing brasses are a very good fit indeed in the support castings. This engine is pretty well made. I'm very lightly tapping the bearing brasses into place with a small hammer, just to see what the tolerance is between the crankshaft and the bearing surface. And the bearing to crankshaft fit is very good indeed. The next job needs some cellulose thinners to clean off all the old paint. I'm doing the bearing top caps as well as some nuts for the engine. Once the pair of bearing top caps are cleaned up, they can be painted. I'm using precision paints, gloss black as usual. And while the paint is drying, it's time to think about the exhaust arrangement. If I use a piece of tube, like you see on the right hand side, for the horizontal pipe, and some kind of an adapter for the vertical pipe, and make it so that the horizontal pipe screws into the vertical adapter which can then be fitted with an o-ring to take the pipe from the cylinder. This may turn out to be a little too complicated. I think a simple plain turning which screws into the cylinder and has a screw thread on the side which will take the horizontal threaded pipe should be sufficient. When it's all finished off with a nice external flange it should look pretty good. Through the magic of video the paint on the top caps is dry already, so it's time to fit them in position and permanently mount the main bearings. And as you can see, it spins quite well. There is a little bit of run out on one side of the crankshaft, but this is so little it's nothing to worry about. The main thing is the flywheel spins very true. Time now to fit the interesting bits, the con rod and the crosshead. The first thing to do though is to use a split pin to stop the main pin from falling out. I found a suitable split pin which was too long so I trimmed it down and here I'm using a pair of pliers to bend it over. It looks brutal but it isn't. It ends up looking something like this. So now there's no chance that the pin can fall out. Before assembly it's very important to lubricate the parts that have been assembled. A lot of damage could be done if you forgot about this and ran up the engine without any lubrication. This is the big end of the connecting rod being fitted and here are the crosshead parts, the guide bars and the crosshead itself in position. There are some really neat little oilers on the top of the crosshead guides. They really are quite clever, the covers flick open, you can put some oil in and then put the covers back. Quite a nice feature. This is a very old steam engine and purposely I have not polished up all the parts to make them shine. I need it to look more industrial, and I think it does. It still has an industrial revolution look to it. The good thing about it is everything runs very freely. The engine's well made, and here I'm actually acting as a piston and just moving the crosshead back and forth, and it's spinning quite happily without a lot of noise or any fuss whatsoever. That's about it for now. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful.